noisy, heavy and dirty. For the past century, planes have been dragging themselves into the sky with a mixture of brute force and petrol. But that's changing. Today, for example, with the help of only a few batteries and the lid runway, one Airbus contraption will try to fly to France. So this is a really exciting project for us. It's the first time that an all-electric aircraft will have flown across the English Channel. And in fact, uh, mirrors a flight that was made back in 1909 by Blériot. He's referring to Louis Blériot, the first man to fly across the narrow strait. It took him 36 minutes. Airbus say their flight will take about the same, 40. But the longest flight it's taken to date is 50 minutes. Not much margin for error there then. There's not actually that much in the way of new technology when it comes to this aircraft. Concepts and ideas have been taken from existing models and pulled and adapted to allow this to happen. In fact, that's what's enabled such a quick turnaround from paper to operational plane in just 18 months. Well, it, it's principally about adapting technologies that have been available to, to the aerospace community and technologies that we've been working on for many years. Uh, the use of composite materials, it's an all-composite aircraft. Uh, we've been working on battery technology uh, for, for a number of years now and we have been able to successfully integrate that into a working airframe, uh, which is a success in its own right. This plane only fits two people, but eventually they hope to seat 100. The downside is, of course, that is decades away. The upside? At least it'll give you a chance to save a few air miles. This is Graham Stothard for KMTV in Lyd.